Sonny, you're so stupid. Oh, no, boys. The Man United career mode was going so great. And then Sonny had to mess it up. I saw a comment in the comment section down below. I'll put it up on the screen now. Someone said, get Martial back. Someone said, why did you sell Martial? And I agree with you. But we made £175 million from him now. That isn't the point I wanted to make. Why have we got Spartak when we had Zenit in the last episode? Basically, boys, I recorded the Arsenal career mode when I live streamed it and then I saved it over the Man United career mode. The only way to bring it back was to literally start all over again and it took me 20 hours to try and literally recreate the Man United career mode. Now, obviously, I can't affect the ratings of the players and I can't also change what other teams do. But I tried to do it the best I can. As you can see, I brought in Neymar, I brought Lukaku back at 90 rated. Darbal is now a 94 rated. Rated player Saul is actually an 89 rated player Varane and Eric by the same there Alexandro down to an 88 I mean 87 from an 88 De Gea now a 93 we couldn't bring in Mounier as well the right back because Chelsea actually bought him so I'm gonna have to look for a new right back but at the moment Fossu meant to complain it I also brought in Hamas Rodriguez He's, he was an 88 rated player he's now an 89 rated player Good West is now an 84 instead of an 82 Milankovic Savage was an 86 rated when we actually quit the career mode and because of the updates in our Obviously, the players' ratings and how they progress quicker in career mode. He's now an 89 rated after starting against the seniors. Now a left winger and he's 80 rated. Andanovic 85, Lindelof 84. We also that old league grants now 70 rated. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys about these kind of players. This is the one thing that I liked from it. All right, and this doesn't have to, have to happen. If you guys don't agree with it, I will release all these players and we don't have to keep them at the club. If we carry on with this career mode, if you guys don't want it to carry on, I'll start a brand new career mode. I was thinking of enters. If you do want it to carry on we will carry on from here on in all right this is what i'm thinking though boys with the anthony martial deal if you guys wanted to stay then i will release thomas lamar and alexis sanchez to make up for that anthony martial deal and obviously we can keep him at the club all right marcus rojo we can release as well because if you guys feel like he's sold now he was sold during the career mode we can make that happen and if you guys want sanchez and lamar to stay we'll release martial instead so it'll be martial and rojo will probably get released and we are missing around 40 to 50 million pounds from our transfer budget as well however with the lot being there fred being there i feel like that's a given the one rule is i don't sign any other players from the top six teams but when it comes to munier just to bring him back to the club i might just sign him in january if they allow me to and he will be a manchester united player but yeah any other right backs any other players let me know in the comment section down below but for now we're going to move straight into it also a better rebrand of it reading i like that uh, let's move into the man united career one. let's go <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Bosco Gaming. This boy Sunny, and we are back with another episode of that Manchester United career mode, and we are finally releasing it. All right, I did say to you guys, literally on Twitter, if you don't follow me at Bros Got Game on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, I did tweet out where I was talking about this issue where I saved over the United career mode, which means we've got a brand new group out there as well. All right, we've got Leipzig, Spartak Moscow, and a Real Madrid in our group, boys. And I can confirm that every single group in this Champions League is looking juicy. All right, every team. Is in every group in there looks like any of those two teams could go go, go through we got Arsenal, Villarreal, AS Monaco and PSV group A looking tasty we got Bayern Munich, Atletico Madrid, Benfica and I'm not sure if Besiktas or however you say that is going to go through but the other three looking tasty we got to group C we got Man City, Inter Milan, Leverkusen and Celtic all looking tasty Juventus, Dortmund, Besiktas and Zenit all look like they could go through as well Paris Saint-Germain, Roma, FC Porto I'm not sure about Rosenberg but three of them looking tasty group F we move on to Chelsea, Sporting, Lisbon Milan and Anderlecht all looking like teams that could go through and Group G Liverpool Barcelona Marseille and Ajax out there as well all the groups out there looking tasty boys so for this episode I'm going to try and leave out Mbappe as much as possible unless you guys don't mind me playing in fact let's bring Mbappe into the team if you guys don't want to see Mbappe then let me know from then on and obviously I will start dropping Mbappe for the team unless we get to the January window which he would have actually joined in real life so I mean in the career mode so we can bring him back into that um, role then so we all can probably start this game. In fact, we're going to bring Matic into that role for this game. We're going to take out Dibida Bala as well. Play Hamas Rodriguez through the middle. We're going to take out Varane due to the stamina and play Lindelof alongside Eric Bai. Fosu Mensa returns with a little bit of an injury, but I wanted to do well. And Handanovic gets his first game in a United shirt. Let's go win, boys. Take that ball off. Don't let him through. Ah, I've messed up completely or ever. I thought I won the ball for a second there, Matic. We do get it back through Pogba and he's still got the ball. How is he keeping the ball here? Here's Zobnin. 
Zobnin plays it. Oh, what a tackle from Fosu. You can't stop that defender, boys. He comes back from his injury and shows why he should be the starting right back. Eric Boy bringing the ball forward. And here we go through the middle through Nemanja Matic. Look over the top and the pace of Kylian Mbappe will catch that. Here's Mbappe. Whips it in. Romelu. What a save. This is where the sliders come into play, boys. When the goalkeeping ability is so great that we can't score from point blank. Look at that. The reactions were crazy. Look at that. Alexandro just rises like a salmon above his player there. And Neymar wins the ball through the middle as well. Here's Hamas Rodriguez back up to Pogba. In the middle, Mbappe out to Neymar. Neymar will find someone in the middle. It's Romelu Lukaku tries to get a shot away. It's good defending again from Swartak. I will chop your toes off if you're not careful, mate. Oh, what a cross. Get that out, Handanovic. I told you, boys. Age is nothing but a number for Handanovic. Zobnin. Plays it out wide and into the middle and into the middle again and into the centre. So Lewis gets past my player and Danovic! I needed him to come up. He just about does. Doesn't make the save but puts the player off enough to try and stop him from getting it on target. Which he does. Just off mate. Hit the post. Janov still on the ball. Plays it back and straight into the feet of Eric Bayer. And here go Manchester United through Kylian Mbappe. He's got the pace on him. Lukaku getting into the middle as well. Mbappe sends him to Tesco. Into the centre. Neymar. Why are you running onto a Lukaku? Where that man? Let's go boys. Move it forward. Oh just about gets that one. And we're playing forward into Angel Gomez. What is that? It's deflected for a corner. We've got the chance here boys. Can we whip that to the far post? Into the middle, headed in, Mbappe was there, it was blocked, and away by Spartak Moscow. Are we going to have one more chance? I don't think we've got the time, we don't, and it's a nil-nil draw. And Manchester United once again picking up a point, this time in the Champions League, boys. The Man United fans are clapping after a poor pump of manager match performance, but I have to say, I should be doing better. We've got Nottingham Forest up next, and I do want to give a lot of my players a rest for this game, considering we've got Liverpool in the next game after that in the Carabao Cup, and we have to sim that game. I want to keep all of them fresh for that game. We're going to play Rashford and Guedes up top, Thomas Lamar just behind them. We're going to play Milankovic, Savic, Fred getting a game alongside Nemanja Matic. We've got Malangso alongside Linda. Off and then towards they be right back to send your left back and Danovic starts this game as well and hopefully we get a win. The last thing we need really is another stalemate, right? I don't want to see another nil-nil draw. As long as we score goals, I'm fine by that. Obviously, I'm simulating simulating the game. We are away, so I don't expect us to win by a huge margin. But like I said, if we can at least bag goals, that would be great. I don't want to see another nil-nil or another one-nil to them, which is looking like at the moment as McKay skip scores the first goal of the game. We then equalize through good Charlo Guinness. I want to see another one, boys. Get that hashtag come back going in the comments i need your guys energy feed me the energy for that hashtag combat there it is thanks for the energy marcus rashford scores the goal it's 2-1 manchester united and it comes to the 90th minute which means we win the game as well just about though boys against nottingham forest now into that game against liverpool oh we don't have to release him we've got a transfer offering for valencia 14 odd million all right it's not going to be as much as we've made before obviously we could have accepted that 18 mil which i tried to do to get rid of Rojo to make it like it was before obviously i said saved over it but it just didn't happen and now we've got Valencia coming in I think we can make around 20 mil if we do that and then we release Marcia I think we get it back to normal okay then 20 mil is what I want all right if they come back with anything near to 20 mil like 18 17 million I think I'll take it anyway boys 20 million pounds and they'll accept it okay they're willing to give us the 20 mil anyway a suggestion boss I see my okay I can see you replacing Sarveran that's why I arrested you four changes to the squad compared to the last game where we actually drew against Spartak Moscow you can see Dimitri Dybal is now in the squad alongside Sewell and Pogba in the middle. Lionel Messi comes in for Mbappe to start this game. Not even on the bench Mbappe. Sesenyon comes in as well. That's the four changes. And other than that, the team is looking all good in the hood. Also, Varane is back in the starting lineup as well. So five changes even. Let's see this game in the Carabao Cup. We should be winning the game, but it is away as well. And they've got players like Salah. And don't forget, this is updated now, boys. So they've got Fabinho. They've got Keita. They've got Salah. They've got those kind of players in that team. So all of their signings that they made in real life recently are in that squad boys we pick up a yellow card 14 minutes into the game and then an injury to the same players player as well this is what i'm talking about the injuries boys we do score though through dibby Dybala 37 minutes into the game it's now the 60th minute and nothing has happened throughout this game all right we're going on to the carabao cup next stage
stage if we win this game, boys. Only 10 minutes to go. We need to keep them at bay. Make sure they don't score a goal. It's looking too empty for my liking. And it just looked like they were going to score a goal, boys. But it doesn't happen. We do pick up the win. It's 1-0, but it's still, at the end of the day, progression in the competition. This is what I was talking about, boys. I can recall Delot Riley. In fact, I was thinking, if we recall Perea, we recall Delot, we recall Riley, and we recall the last person that's out alone, and that is Tahiz Chong as well. We should be okay, right? Because I feel like this is the last season anyway. Even if they're loaned out and then they come back in the next season, we won't see that anyway. So why not just recall them all and let everybody play? This is a massive game against Tottenham Hotspur, man, and I can't risk any other player but Dibi Darbala playing through that camera. We're also going to take out Lionel Messi to bring in Marcus Rashford because of his form, all right? I know you guys want to see more of Mbappe, and you probably want to see more of Messi as well, but Rashford at the moment has been one of our best players in that position. I'm going to play Saul and Pogba through the middle as well. We're going to play Varane without Eric Bay today because of that little injury or stamina issue, whatever you want to call it. Malang Sar can play this game instead of um, Lindelof as well, and we're going to play Alexandro on the left, possibly Mensah on the right. The head in goal and everything else is looking all good in the hood boys let's go win i need you to get that counter going as soon as i boot this ball to you neymar get ready for it mate there you go we're about to go neymar get ready romeli lukaku into neymar i need players moving forward i see marcus rashford through the middle ay ay ay, ay Lloris, get out of my way Hear that? good header forward from paul Pogba. romeli lukaku lukaku into neymar into the middle rashford just wide and that shot error coming into play, boys. Marcus Rashford can't hit the target. Take him on, boys. Take him on. Chop his toes off if you need to. Don't let him through. No, Valen. Good save. David De Gea showing why he's the Dave saves man. David Darbala can't control it. But David De Gea with a massive save for us. Neymar trying to get the ball off them. Here's Peasy. Peasy into Valen. Valen plays it on the left-hand side. Here's Lucas. Lucas backs it up. Oh, no. He's gone past me. He's gone past me again. Lucas. He's got players waiting in the centre, Lucas. He's gone towards them. Here he is. Voland again. <laughs> Played back. Voland again. He's put it wide. Oh my God, boys. The chances are coming for Tottenham. Pogba moves it into Dibi Darbala. Here's Lukaku into Rashford. Or the other way around, even. Here's Lukaku now into Neymar. Dibi Darbala back into Neymar. Here we go. It's Neymar, the Brazilian. And it's deflected for a corner. Nearly deflected in. Come on, Malangsa. Show me what you got in your locker, son. Hamas Rodriguez out wide. Here goes Rashford. Trying to keep the ball in. Just about does. Marcus Rashford turns his man. Marcus Rashford looks towards the far post. Headed in. Lionel Messi. And wide. Oh my God, boys. The chances straight away. I moved Matt Rashford to the left. Took off Neymar to bring in Messi. Hamas Rodriguez involved as well. And all of a sudden we're getting chances. I want to get the three points. It's booted forward. Into the feet of Deli Ali. Deli Ali finds another man. Is Voland. Good save, David De Gea. Come on. Come on, boys. It is coming to life. Here they go. Down the left-hand side. And whipped in by Milik. Away by Alexandro. Even further away by Hamas Rodriguez. And that is the full-time whistle. Another stalemate, boys. Another nil-nil draw. The Man United fans are not happy with that. And I can actually... I can, I can feel what they're feeling. I am not happy with that either, boys. We should have been picking up a W there. Of course they've broken down, man. Shall I just release Marcus Rojo, chat? Let me know. I don't want another stalemate, boys. It's not happening. And I do feel like the formation has a lot to do with it. I want to try a 3-5-2 for this game. If it don't work, trust me, I will convert straight back to the 4 at the back formation. But for now, I want to try 3 at the back and see if it works for us. I'm going to try uh, Baran, Eric Bright, and Lindelof in the middle. Because we've obviously got that kind of spine where we can play those kind of players that are going to be decent for for us at the back nevertheless i'm gonna go for a middle three of fred nemanja matic and dibby darbala playing in that count in fact i'm gonna try paul pogba and fred alongside each other with darbala in there i'm gonna take off him on the right side to bring in my boy killian mbappe on the left side we're gonna play neymar I'm not sure how defensively good he is, but I'm going to play him anyway. And we're going to play Rashford and Lukaku up top. This is a big game, man. It might not even work for us, but, you know, we're going to have to try, boys. As long as we try, that's all we can do, right? Marcus Rashford into the middle baller. Are we going to score straight away? Into Killian and Bappe with a long shot. And over the top. Thanks to Killian. Killian Navas. Thanks to a Navas save. Come on, Pocky. He's got players left, right and centre. We'll go through the middle. Here's Rashford to Dabala. Dabala looks towards Marcus Rashford. Navas comes off his line early. Very good from the goalkeeper. Harry Kane probably won him in the middle in this position. Or he can put in a very good cross. And then Kudu somehow puts that wide. They've signed Nkudu, the former Tottenham Hotspur man. 
What a chance that is to put Real Madrid 1 0 up. Look at that, boys. Just wide. Come on, boys. There you go. Dimi Dabala. Dabala into Rashford. Back into Dabala. And here he goes. The Argentine man. And it's 1 0 Manchester United. Dimi Dabala with the Marcus Rashford assist. Our new play in this formation may just work, boys. Defensively, it has not worked for us. Harry Kane's beating everyone in the air. And at the back, they just keep getting behind us. And literally, those wing backs are not getting back far enough. And Mappe and Neymar. But. It has worked going forward and we've had more chances and finally we score a goal in this episode and it comes through Dimi Dabala after a Marcus Rashford assist boys. Let's go. Tony Cruz gives it straight to Paul Pogba who looks towards the middle, finds Fred as well and Fred will find Neymar. Neymar's got some support there from Romelu Lukaku and it's 2-0 Manchester United and another goal and we are on fire. Now, boys, maybe the 3-5-2 is the formation for us. One thing is for sure, we are banging goals when it comes to how many players are moving forward. Whether moving backwards is not the best of like, our, our um, attributes, all right? Whether it is or not, moving forward is definitely getting us more goals with this formation. How do we line up? Now, Real Madrid have a little bit of a gap to try and close in on, boys. They have drew a game 2-2 before. That was their first game in the Champions League when we were drawing 0-0. Now they're 2-0 down. Can they come back and show some heart without players like Ronaldo in that team? Played forward and away by Lindo. And played forward again and off the post and the bar. The corner of the woodwork. And it's come out to Gareth Bale and boot that away, Eric Boy, boys. Get that out of there. Come on, boys. Get those players on the pitch. They've got to throw in here, Real Madrid. Played forward. Here's Gareth Bale. Gets the cross in as well. Handanovic should have that. He punches it away. Something I actually didn't like. The fact that Donnarumma was doing and Lorente puts that one wide. I don't want to see punches though. He should be catching that. Carver Hall moving forward for Real Madrid. Harry Kane backs it up. Big save, Andanovic. He actually left the floor so early. He was flying. You could call him Supervic if that's even a name. Come on, Andanovic. Long throw for me. Are we going to get goal number three for this game? Lukaku into Alexis. The chance was on there. But it does come to full time. I could have just slipped Lukaku through with the first time. I tried to roll the ball onto my right foot and play it. Just not enough time on the ball, but we do win the game anyway. 2-0 victory against Real Madrid as well, boys. You could say they didn't play all of their first team players. In fact, they brought on Modric as a substitute for Tony Cruz. But you could also say they're a very good team nevertheless, and we win. Wow. Looking at the table, if Everton win this game, they go top of the table. If I win this game, we go top of the table. Arguably the best two teams in the Premier League right now in this career mode. Everton and Manchester United. And whoever wins this game takes home first place in the Premier League table. And I am not about to be let that be Everton, boys. I'm going to play Lukaku and Rashford up top. I'm going to switch them around to get Lukaku's left foot curling into the left corner and Rashford's right foot curling into the right corner. We're also going to take out Lionel Messi from from here and play Hamas Rodriguez through the middle even though Darbala had a good game in fact we'll have Hamas Rodriguez on the bench down here as well and on the right hand side I want to play someone who's defensive I've got Sefsenyon on the left we're gonna go with you know what let's give Lozano a chance in the team he's played well when we've played him before Varane Eric Boy and we'll go with Bossu Mensa for this game even though Lindo can do the job David De Gea in goal and that is going to be the team right there straight away boys I want to go Lukaku into Rashford we'll play that one back here's Dabala. Dibi Dabala will play that back even further now into Pogba. Trying to slow down the game. Lukaku tries to look towards the right. Here's Herving Lozano. Oh, he's done up his man. Herving Lozano. Little bit of skill. He's gone down in the box. It's a penalty. And Manchester United within the opening minutes through Herving Lozano getting his chance at the first team starting has got ourselves a penalty. A lot of people would say put Herving Lozano on it, put David De Gea on it, but Romelu Lukaku is our penalty taker. He stepped up for it and he slots it into the bottom right hand corner and that is why he takes our penalties boys because he does stuff like that and he's wearing the armband as well. I believe he's a leader. He's gonna lead our club to victory and he's doing it right now against Everton with that penalty. Come on! Darbala on the ball for Manchester United. We'll go to the right hand side to Paul Pogba. He's got support through the middle. And here goes Lozano. Lozano into Rashford. Back into Lozano. Loz Lozano's been brought down again. Ref! Referee, man! The kid is on fire, Lozano! What a beast! Give me baller. We'll play that one back to try and move it forward. Lozano. He's got the pace. He's got the pace, Lozano. Lozano's taking them all on. He's whipped it into Rashford. It's 2-0. And Lozano's just won as a penalty and then crossed in the assist for the second goal as well. 
Give Lozano player of the month now because he's going to start bare more goals. The bare more games. Get bare more goals. And he's definitely getting more assists. The kid is on fire. Nabala plays it into Romelu Lukaku. Here's Rashford. Rashford turns his man and plays it into Nabala. Nabala's away. It's Dibby Nabala hits the side netting. I probably had better options there. I could have played it into the middle. I panicked, went for goal, and I've hit the side netting. Pickford just letting it go there. Idris Gay, what a player that is, by the way. I'm, I'm so gobsmacked that he's still playing at Everton. So I somehow played to Dybala. It's literally ping-ponged around to Dibby Dybala. Pickford saves it anyway because of the goalkeeping sliders, obviously. But we should be scoring there. It's ping-ponged to Dybala. I see Lukaku waiting. I see bigger players in there as well. We've got a lot of height in there, boys. Milankovic Savage might get there or not. Paul Pogba went for it. Here he goes to Senyon. Trying to rise above everyone and get himself a goal. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out that way. Irving Lozano for Manchester United. Probably in for man of the match for this game as well. Plays it down the right. And here we go. It's Romelu Lukaku. How have we not scored there? Oh, my. I was going to say we'll score anyway. How has he saved that one on the line? Sasenyon, play it into Lukaku, and there is the full-time whistle. We'll take a 2-0 victory, boys. There's still three points in the bag. I will take that after, like, two or three stalemates. I cannot take another one, boys. I needed to get wins. We won against Real Madrid. We won against Everton. Now, finally, we're starting to pick up wins and pick up three points in all competitions. That's what I want to do. Oh, another team coming in for my boy Marcus Rojo. 13.7 this time. Is he going to accept the contract, though? I do not expect anything less from you two. Athletic Bilbao, 20 mil. 17.7, I'll take that. There's not much difference in it, and we can get rid of Rojo. Of course they're broken down, because it's Marcus Rojo at the end of the day. We're probably going to have to release him, boys. Since it is working out so well for us, I feel like we go with that 3-5-2 again, boys, and we play Fosium and Zavaran and Eric Bay again, because those three at the back are just literally unbeatable. So Senyon's going to play that left back, slash left mid, slash left wing back position. We're going to play Dividar Bala through the middle in that cam roll again. We're going to play Pogba alongside there's loads of players we can put there. We've got Saul, we've got Milankovic, we've got Fred, we've got Matic. We've got so many who can go there. But I feel like Saul is going to be my first team starter alongside Pogba. So we'll go with him. And on the right side, we're going with Lozano, guys. Because he's just a beast, all right? He's just literally a beast. There's nothing, nothing we can take away from him. I'm going to play Lukaku alongside Mbappe up top for this game. And maybe, just maybe, Rashford can come in off the bench, boys. This is mine. Easy. Dibby Darbala steps in there and steals the ball. Romelu Lukaku on the left. We've got players on the right as well. Lukaku's thinking he's going himself though. Is Romelu Lukaku. What a goal. Through the near post boys. A couple of step overs. Shifts it onto his right foot instead of his preferred left foot. And he just smashed that past the goalkeeper. It's easy from him boys. Absolutely easy. What a goal from the Belgian beast up top for us. Look at him. He's going. You just fancy him as favourite when he cuts in. Sends him to Tesco, couple of step overs, man, that is crazy. Now for a short free kick, boys, from the halfway line. Here's Saul into Paul Pogba. Looks towards his French compatriot, who is Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe turns his man, it's Mbappe! Looking for his first Manchester United goal and it's gone over the bar. Unlucky for Kylian. Norwich trying to get a goal just before half-time and try and equalise. Here's McLean, back top and back to McLean. McLean plays it forward on the right and it's a good block from Herving Lozano. Doing his job defensively as well as going forward. I like this kid. Where they're going to go with it then? We've got players in there. We've got the height in there as well. We should be keeping them out. That's easy for us. What? What? No! No! I literally pushed the stick forward and for some odd reason the ball's gone backwards towards my own goal and looped into the back of the net. It's 1-1 now thanks to some BS from EA. Who's given them a goal, literally from nothing, boys. That was easy. Should have been an easy clearance. I've just pressed A and forward to get the ball up the field and take it to half time. And he's looped one into his own net. Come on, Lozano. I was literally just calling him a good player as well. David De Gea, long throw to the centre. I see my boy Dibby Dabala waiting for it. Little flick on. Mbappe to Lukaku. Lukaku looks towards Dabala. And here goes Paolo. Paolo Dabala. One on one with the keeper. It's somehow come back in. It's Romelu. And he's off the line by another defender during this episode. I need to get better defensively, boys. And attacking as well. I can't get enough shots away to try and get the goals that I need during this game. Paul Pogba. 
Played forward into Mbappe. Oh, what a ball that is. And Dibby Dabal is away. Here he goes. It's Dabal and it's 2-1 to Manchester United. Kylian Mbappe with the assist. Somehow we got through there. I don't know why, but that defender slid, on, slid in on me. And Dabal has just passed the ball under his feet. Jumped over the top and slipped it into the back of the net. We're lucky to take it. But I will take it, boys. 2-1 Manchester United. Somehow, that has came out of nowhere. We need to get some more, look at that, some more attacking options. Some, not more attacking options, but some more attacking football going. And finally, we get one going and we score a goal. Free kick, Norwich City, dangerous at this time as well. They've got loads of players in there. In towards the taller players, David De Gea just punches it away, mate. He does a KSI versus Logan Paul punch right there. He sees, he sees Logan Paul's face up there and he's like, get the hell out of here, son. Move. Just move! Tribal will play it into Hernandez. Play it back into this guy. This guy will play it into the middle. His Naismith loses the ball to Kylian Mbappe. We're putting on that pressure, boys. And it's working for us. Through the middle. Hamas Rodriguez, he might be offside there. He's not. It's Marcus Rashford. He is offside. He did score a goal. Just probably inches offside though, boys. I thought those ones at the bottom kept him onside. Obviously not. We've got the height in there to put these kind of crosses in, boys. Here we go. Paul Pogba whipped in. Milankovic. Oh my god, in off the bar. I mean, out off the bar. You know what I'm talking about, boys. Milankovic Savage close to scoring. They're going to try and fight for this, Norwich, but it's just not going to be good enough by the looks of things here, even though I keep losing the ball. Tribal. They might have one more chance. Nope, the referee says no, you cannot have that one more chance. Naismith with the last touch of the game, and we score the last goal of the game with a combat from 1 1. They nearly came back, all right? Don't get me wrong, all right? A little BS on goal. But from 1-1, we pick up the 2-1 victory. We pick up the three points against the newly promoted teams. And if you know me, you know the newly promoted teams are my bogey teams, boys. We can't let that happen. Good win. RB Leipzig coming up. Oh, we're top of our table in the Champions League as well. And yet again, another offering for Marcus Rojo. So many teams coming in for him. Brereton saying thanks, even though we haven't played him during this episode. I don't know what that's all about. You know what? I'll just accept the 12.8. As long as he goes, I'll take anything now. I know it's been a long time since I released a Man United career mode, hence why I've got so many games into this episode, hence why I literally tried to get this as long as possible as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to see new players in the club, let me know. If you guys want me to literally release Martial because of that transfer that we made last um, episode, then let me know. Or we could actually substitute in Alexis Sanchez and Thomas Lamar and get rid of two players instead of the one. And if you guys want me to keep Fred, let me know. If not, then I'll get rid of him. Or we could substitute in Herrera and get rid of Ferreira. Who do you guys want me to get rid of? Who do you guys think? Like, sh should we just get it back to how it should be and get rid of Martial and Rojo? Let me know, boys. Basically, I just want you guys to be happy with how we bring this back because of the mistake I made. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash that the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I am probably the shiniest I've ever been because it is hot in here and I am burning, boys, and I am sweating my soft boys but yeah if you guys have enjoyed it you know what to do um also follow me on twitter instagram and snapchat all those links are down below just search bros that game i am literally on them all the time all right so if you guys want updates on everything follow me on all of those but for now it has been me you guys have been great and i'll catch you in the next one boys peace